How many? 12 times 5 is 60. So $15,000. How much did you pay for that $3,000? I meant for that $12,000. $3,000. You paid $3,000 for it. Now, that ain't a big deal, is it? You're only talking about $12,000. Let's talk about a house. Move that calculator over to the right, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Let's talk about a house. You want to go out and buy a house. So we're going we're gonna to buy a $150,000 house. How about that? Is that good enough for y'all? It's a little bit high. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking a little high. $50,000 <laughs> I don't want that. I don't want an acre. Maybe, oh. maybe 75. <laughs> I don't want to live in a shack. <laughs> My house has wheels on it. Where you got this one, Carl? Okay, okay. Do 60,000 because my son's fixing to buy it. 60,000? Yes. All right, we'll do 60,000. Oh, I'll tell you what, 75. We'll go with 75. There you go. Well, he might have to have a roof, so 66. We'll go with 75,000. It's a nice round number. But his credit's bad. No, credit's good. No, we're going to go bad. We're going to go bad credit. So, 75000 And we're going to say that your credit's pretty bad. Uh, we're going to lock you in at 11%. Don't forget. Now, most house payments are going to be around... 30 years. But we're going to put this one at 20 because it's a little bit lower than what you, you know. So 20 years. And monthly payment. So crank that out and see what you get. And 12 times 20 is what? 240? Yeah. Mm -hmm. that by alpha B. 
I got $774. Oh. That is not what I got. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah, hurry right. up. Why four nine to the safe? What what you have? <laughs> Alright, do it again. Do it again? Yeah, it's not what I got. You gotta do the whole thing. Okay, again. well I'll get out while you do it. Okay. Alright. Point one one. One one. Divided by twelve. Okay. I got the point. Plus one. Raised. One. To the 240th power. What? Hold on. 12 years. And then one divided by that number. And one minus that number. And that's your denominator. So I'm going to stow alpha D for denominator. And now I'm going to do the numerator. Point one one divided by 12 and multiply by 75,000. And divide that by Alpha D. I get 774. Yep. Now that's what you're paying. You're paying 774.14 per month for 20 years. So that's 240 payments. So multiply that by 240. So minus the 75,000. That's how much you actually borrowed. How much do you pay for that money? About $111,000. Yep. That's why people pay in cash. Yep. I was about to say, the moral of this lesson is to get rich and live in your mom's basement. Didn't go out and buy that crap. What? So the final answer is 774, right? You're just yeah, yeah I'm telling extra. you, because sometimes they're going to ask you, how much did you pay for the house? Okay. That's how much you paid. You paid $110,000 plus the $75,000. But what does it have to do with? It has to do with what? Damn. That right there, the rate. Now, what's that based on? Is that based on who's the president or is it based on how your credit is? Credit score. My house, I refinanced my house when I got divorced and I got locked in at 4%. Do you think I'm going to refinance anytime soon? No. Oh, heck no. Because 4% is about the lowest you're going to get unless we have a depression. Okay, so which way is the rates going to go from now on, pretty much? They're going to go up because as the economy gets better, the interest rates go up. So I'm not going to refinance. I couldn't believe I got 4%. But I guess that was a good time. Alright. How many years till you're done paying off your house? 115. I think I refinanced for 20 or 25. I can't remember. Listen, I did whatever I could get to get 4%. But that's based on your credit. And uh, that's why you see these, these commercials, these real flicked commercials with the woman going in. I got a 786. What can you do for me? Have you seen those commercials? Yeah. Oh, God, I hate that commercial. <laughs> so, let's see what kind of problems they got in here for y'all to do. Let's see what their interest rates are. <clears throat> Student loan. $7,500. That's two semesters, maybe one. Okay, $7,500. Let's, let's really talk. That's probably a semester. Okay? So that's $7,500 times two times five. 
because you may get a master's or whatever. So we're gonna we're gonna up this a little bit, okay? We're gonna say 7,500 times two. So that's 150,000. But anyway, 7,500 times two, and then we're gonna or 15,000, and then we're gonna multiply that by five. Okay, so that's how much you really gonna borrow right there. 75,000. So I want you to put 75,000 in here and then figure out the rest of it. 75,000. And that'll pretty much get you four or five years worth of education. If you go somewhere like Clowns on. But I don't even know what the tuition there is anymore. About 10,000 a semester. Is it? It's all dependent on whether you live there or not. Okay, so we've got point zero nine. Divided by 12 plus 1. I'm trying to speak louder for a reason. Raised to the NT. Well, what is N? N is 10, I mean 12, and T is 10, so that's 120. So that's raised to the 120th power. And one divided by that and then one minus that. I get that as my denominator. Point five nine two. So alpha B. And then we take the top point zero nine divided by 12, multiplied by 75,000. Yes? Where did you get the 12 from? 12 monthly payments. Okay. All right. Basically, yeah. on everything, it's going to be 12. N is 12, because that's what we're, our society is based on what? Monthly payments. Everything we do is based on monthly payments because that's what people pay. You won't confuse somebody, go up to somebody and say, I'm going to pay cash. That will confuse you. All right, I got 562.5, and I'm going to divide that by alpha D. I get 950.06. And we're going to multiply that by how many payments? 120? Mm -hmm. Minus 75,000. So how much do you pay for that 75,000? Pay 40,000 to borrow 75,000. Now I remember my student loan being at 9%. I don't even want to know how much my student loan was. I know it took me from 1994 to last year to pay it off. 
I paid it off last year with a balance of $8,000. I paid off $8,000. I took my income tax, sold some stuff, and I paid it off because I got tired of making those payments. You don't get tired of making a house payment that much. You know why? Because you're living in the house and you know it's going to be yours. So you don't have a, you don't have a problem paying that off. But you do have a problem paying on, paying on something each month that you don't want. You don't see it. You don't see it. You don't live in it. Even though it's paying your bills, you know, that student loan is actually paying your bills because you got your degree. You don't like paying it because you don't see it. It's not tangible. You don't mind paying for a car. Or you don't mind paying for a house. But when you're making payments on something that you don't physically see, it's very frustrating. Now what do you think? Wait till we get the income tax. Now you put Theo, Theo, the Theo scene with the amortization, and then you put income tax with the amortization and the Theo scene. That equals conservative. No, I'm sorry, Republican. I'm sorry. I should have said. What? <laughs> it's supposed to be funny. It's like, it's like when a person says, when do you become a Republican? When you start working for a living. And it's supposed to be fun. That's not fair. Huh? That's not fair. It's not true, though. I mean, for some people. For some people. I think a lot of us think along the middle of the road anyway. But the extremists are the ones I'm talking about. The right-wing nut jobs and the left-wing no jobs. They make up about 30% of the population. All right. Most of us are normal. Most of us. I don't know where income tax comes in, but we need to start on that because that's going to take the longest. There's credit cards. So they got a whole section on credit cards. Now that's the one you need to run some numbers on. Let's see what this one says. Suppose you have a credit card balance of $2,300. you are lucky. Let's change that to $10,300. Why? Because will a credit card company let you go up that high? Oh yeah. They will love for you to get up that high. Well, the annual interest rate of what? 21%. Is that normal? Yeah. That's low. Yeah, I'd say probably 23% or 23.9. They like to put the 0.9 on there. You decide to pay off your balance over one year. How much will you need to pay each month assuming that you make no further credit card purchases? So we're going to change this to $10,300. Okay, because that's a more applicable. So change this number to $10,300 and run that through and let's see what you get. Is it still the same formula? Yeah. Charge you finding out a monthly payment. Now in my opinion, this formula right here should be drilled into every high school student's head. I mean it should be there, they should be teaching this like the, the ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th grade. We'd have a whole lot less students going out and being stupid with money. That's because most of them are. I know plenty of like 40 year olds that are pretty stupid with money too. Well, I know a lot of 40 year olds that still cruise them all. <laughs> That's kind of creepy. And some of, some of those people hang out at establishments where cavemen hang out. Well, I know two or three of them. What's that? Cavemen. Yeah, I'm just going just gonna, <laughs> to stop right there. I'm not going to say anything else. One of them is a partner in another establishment in Anderson. 
Which establishment? He's younger than I am. No, he's not younger than I am. He's the same age as I am, but I, I, I really think he still cruises them all. Doesn't going to a legal place to buy moonshine cut out part of the fun of drinking moonshine? Well, that moonshine ain't the same. It's, it's not the same. It's legal. It ain't the same. I'll tell you one thing. It's if you ever have real moonshine, when you drink it, it goes down like water. Mm -hmm. And then it comes back. You ever seen the Granny Clampett, when she drinks it, she takes about three or four swigs, and then, and then they make this, about two or three seconds later, there's this kaboom, and then, it, you know, that's, the, that's real moonshine. I mean, it, it's like water. When you get, when you go down. I, think legal moonshine I have no idea. 90%. You don't have to Google it. I have no idea. All right. So here is our formula, and we're going to punch it in our handy dandy calculator. Have y'all noticed that you can actually do this on a calculator without writing anything down? So some of you calculator drill team alumni, y'all might can relate to this. Anyway, so point, let's see, what we got? We got, what's the interest rate? 25%? 21%. I thought you said 23.9. Well, we'll do 23.9, but I'm going to do 21. Okay. I only changed the 10,300, I'm sorry. Uh, 21%, so that's 0.21 divided by 12. Plus 1 raised to the, what do they say, 10 years or 1 year? 1 year. Oh, 1 year? Okay. 1 year, we should have made that like 5 years, but anyway. 10 years, or 1 year times, what, 12, so that would be to the 12th power. And we're going to divide that by 1, or 1 divided by that number. So 1 divided by inverse answer. And 1 minus inverse answer. I get point one eight seven nine as the denominator. Stove, alpha D. And then let's take the top, which is going to be 0.21 divided by 12, and multiply by 10,300 equals divided by alpha D. I get $959 payment times 12, and what do we borrow? Minus $10,300. About $1,200. So you're paying $1,200 interest on that money for one year. <clears throat> now, the credit card company says they want you to pay it off in a year. No. 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 They want you to make those minimum payments. That way it takes 6 to 10 years to pay off your credit card debt. There's two or three entities that's not in the generosity business. One, Las Vegas. Two, the bank. And three, <coughs> credit cards. Them putting free on a credit card envelope mailed to you is like putting ain't in English. It just don't, it ain't, it don't work. Okay? Eight. All right. Class already over? Yeah. Oh. All right, hit the button for me, Dan. What time is class over? 11.